Fashion trends come and go. There's been many of them. Really, dance trends come and go, too. I remember the Macarena and that kind of stuff. But there's a new Hollywood fashion trend that is starting to make waves and catch on. And it is men wearing skirts. Men wearing skirts. Oh, boy, this is crazy. <laughs> Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. Would you please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you are new and go ahead and hit the like button for our friends. And as the caption below me says, hit the like button, smite thine like button rather, and all of your dreams will come true. It is a word from the Lord. You better believe it. No, not really. But that is being said, CNN's put out a new article saying that the new rage of men's fashion is men wearing skirts. But before we show you that, I want to give you something in the Bible. This is Old Testament, of course. Long time ago, the Lord put this into print for all of God's people to see. The Bible says, Deuteronomy 22, 5, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. That was put in there before you and I ever came around. That's been there for thousands of years, and uh, people today need to understand that. The Lord has already spoken. I love how the Bible is sufficient for all matters of faith and practice, even the things that we deal with that we think are kind of like current trends. They're not new. The devil has nothing new. This is just rehashing the same old garbage over and over and over and over again every generation. Now, we had a, um, a video up on our channel a long time ago, probably a year and a half, two years ago, where uh, the woman at our church was speaking to me, and it was 1950s in America. She was in high school, and she was telling me that back in her day, for the women to put on a pair of dress pants in the gym class at the public high schools here in America, that was like the same as putting, you know, LGBT literature in the schools. That was like that big a deal back then. And all these girls were doing, they would wear skirts to school, dresses to school, but like in gym class, they would put on a pair of sweatpants and work out and have gym class. And it was all girls, just girls. No, no, no inner co-ed, nothing. It was just girls. You would have thought that was the end of the world. But that's how people thought back then. And, and the reason is because the Bible held an influence in society back then. And verses like this came to mind. And people actually tried to live this and believe this. And uh, and there was a reason for that. And the, the, really, quite frankly, there's a reason why this is in the Bible. And I'm going to show you that. Stick with me all the way to the end. And we will show you why this is in the Word of God. Now, here's Breitbart's website. This is an article dating August 26. CNN boasts from Brad Pitt to Little Nas X. More men are wearing skirts. Men in skirts are becoming increasingly common from a fashion runways to Hollywood. Red carpet premieres a CNN report Friday. Cood. Uh, that's a fun word, cood. Adding, we better get used to it. Hem lines are now for him as much as her. <laughs> CNN points to Brad Pitt as the exemplar of excellence in a new fashion trend. When Brad Pitt arrived at the premiere new movie Bullet Train last month, his stylish linen outfit made headlines everywhere. Or the part below the waistline did. The actor who made a name and career out of playing masculine roles completed his blush pink and brown ensemble with an eye-catching twist, a skirt. So there you go. There's old Bradley boy wearing his skirt for everybody. And this is this like a, like a real legit trend amongst men in Hollywood. And uh, so I went and just typed in men, Hollywood men in skirts. And I was surprised at how many results we got. I mean, we've got, uh, uh, I forget his name there, but this is a basketball player there. Um, I, I don't know all these guys, but that's, uh, that's Will Smith's son right there. Just there's so many results. This is Vin Diesel, and uh, you know, Fast and Furious wearing looks like a leather skirt right there, and boots, and uh, guys, I just don't have words for that. And uh, this this outfit is almost as much a crime as him being cast as Apocalypse in the X Men movie. I mean, when you're when you're creating an X Men movie and you need a giant, huge enemy, you don't get a five foot seven Guatemalan dude to play Apocalypse. I mean, that'd be like choosing him to play Thanos. It's just dumb. But that's what they're, and sorry for that side rant, but that's, that's what this, that's what this guy's doing. He's wearing this skirt and okay. And then also you got other guys. I mean, just so many, and I don't know all these guys, but here's the deal. Why is this happening? I'm going to tell you why it has to do with the rise of the divine feminine. Men are becoming 
in touch with their feminine side is how they put it. And women are becoming these rise up, hear me roar. We're going to take on the world. I will not be silenced anymore. Uh, and and it, it, it's all the same thing. All it does, the rise of the divine feminine is the merging of genders in a sense is what it is. So that explains a lot of the social things that are going on today. But the rise of the divine feminine is not some controversial social issue. The rise of the divine feminine is a historic esoteric principle that has been around forever. This is is not something new and this is not something controversial so let me prove that to you if i can there is uh there is something out there called the rebus now the rebus is a symbol of alchemy and i just pull up the wikipedia page for you just so you can see it um it is the this is the great work this is the magnum opus of alchemy of the occult <clears throat> of chemistry this is what they're trying to do you see in the occult mind that that god divided everything god divided light from dark god divided uh the the land from the sea god divided night from day god divided 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 man from woman he divided all these things well the grand work of the occult is to merge everything that's why i stand against ecumenicism you're trying to merge things that don't belong to be merged together i want to tell you unity in a lot of ways is a very satanic thing and a lot a lot of these people who are pushing for unity, we need to get the Jehovah's Witnesses, Catholics and Mormons and evangelical Christians all together to come together. That is the work of Satan. You hear me, Billy Graham followers. That is the work of Satan trying to merge everything together, including gender. That's the work of the occult. And I'm showing you this right here. Now, I want you to notice this. We dealt with this in 3rd Adam 3, Rise of the Divine Feminine. Explained it very well. Of course, you see there that there's a, there is a creature standing on a dragon, and that creature has two heads. It has a masculine head with a sun next to it. It has a feminine head with a moon next to it. Now, the moon is always a picture of, of a female, the feminine, and the sun is always a picture of the masculine. And I want you to notice here also these, these two instruments that they're holding in their hand uh, these are the two symbols of masonry. So you guys who are involved in the Masonic Lodge, you're involved in the occult. You know, the, the up and down. That's, that's what that is. The, the, that is a symbol of merging dualities, which is occultism. And, of course, you can see right there uh, the, the head of the man, the head of the woman, and the rebus. Now, uh, let me explain the word rebus to you. The rebus is a play on the words. It means Ra be Isis and Isis be Ra. R-E stands for Ra, which is the sun god of the Egyptians, which is Nimrod. And then Isis is the female version. It's, 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 you know, it's the Egyptian queen, Isis. And she sees the moon god. So you have Ra be Isis, and you could even read it backwards. Isis be Ra. It is the duality, the merger of all things. This is a work of the occult, and that's that's exactly what you're dealing with today. Guys, this is not new. This is a age-old battle, and this explains so many of the social issues that we fight today. Uh, the idea of, you know, this, that, the other. This is the work of, of the occult. This is the grand merger of all things. So why is this happening? I'll tell you why. This is happening because this is happening. These people are not Christians. These people are not dwelt by the Holy Spirit. The article goes on to say, I don't know, Pitt Pitt told, uh, later told Vanity Fair of the inspiration behind the very public wardrobe, wardrobe choice. We're all going to die, so let's mess it up. Pitt mirrored Latin pop megastar in the bullet train Bad Bunny, who earned praise for his own wearing of a dress on the recent cover of Harper's Bazaar and Breitbart News reported. Um, I mean, so, you know, there's a, there's a lot of this. Um, the Puerto Rican star is among the most streamed artists in the world. He's achieved the meteoric success by remaining true to his sound, personal style, and social causes that move him. So social causes is a lot of this divine feminine stuff. CNN clearly approves. It went great lengths to cover the fashion trend and point it to becoming more, not less, as driven by Hollywood Times. The report went approvingly. Pitt joined a growing roster of stars recently pictured wearing gender-neutral skirts from Oscar Isaac's Below the Knee pleated number at the Moon Knight premiere. By the way, the Moon Knight, if you remember that, the Divine Feminine Moon, uh, premiered a Little Nas X's metallic pink miniskirt. A actor Billy Porter and uh, Dan Levy, basketball player Russell Westbrook, that's the one, and uh, rapper whatever Rocky embraced the trend. Outside Hollywood, the phenomenon has been gaining tractions for years. According to Carl, our, our friend, the administrator, uh, the Skirt Cafe, an online forum dedicated to men's skirts where he believes undue attention is being paid to skirt-wearing celebrities, he nonetheless welcomed increased visibility. Why are these people doing this? 
especially if you notice it says in Hollywood, it's a big deal. They're doing it because this is why. This is the grand work, merging it all back together, having a one world government, a one world religion, and maybe even more than that. Unity, in a lot of ways like this, is satanic. Friend, I want to tell you today, go watch Third Adam. It's available now on our YouTube channel. You guys do not want to miss this documentary. We have we have put this together. We have done, I don't even know how many hours of work on this, and we have really tried to knock it out of the park for you guys, but in a, a consumable, creative way, and we're going to be working on more of these in time. So you pray for us. Rise of the Divine Feminine, Third Adam 3. Go check that one out. Just go watch all the Third Adams. They'll, they'll, they will blow your mind. You do not want to miss this, and we appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and we appreciate you guys. We will see you very soon. Have a good day. There was a day where I was sitting at my desk and I was studying the false religions of the world and it all just clicked. The Lord revealed things to me that I just had to get out and I dedicated a large portion of my time to this. We put documentaries together trying to explain to you this grand illusion that was materializing right before my very eyes. We told you, and we told you, and we told you it was coming. And the reaction was mixed. Some people said this was the greatest thing they'd ever seen. Some people said that I was just another Pharisee, just another false teacher. We'll let the Lord decide. But we've tried to tell you every angle of this that we knew. And we've tried to reveal it to you. This is so wicked that even the Apostle John, when he saw it, he marveled and wondered. So what more is there for me to do? The only thing I can tell you now, stop everything you're doing and go watch Third Adam. Your very soul may be at stake.